Hi everyone, this is Ripper of Ripper Gaming. Today we're going to be covering how to get Remnant 2 to play on the Ally and the best settings for it. Now, the reason I say how to get it to play is uh, it just seemed to crash on startup over and over for me. And so there's a way to improve this and fix it um, so that you can actually start playing the game and change your settings. Uh, so that's what I'm going to cover first. So you normally don't have to do this for most games, but if you go from game library over to settings, then move down here to where it says operating mode and go in there, you're going to go down to the bottom section, which is GPU settings. Now you can see mine is set to eight gigs. Um, that's eight gigabytes of RAM from the system RAM allocated to the graphics. Now, typically you don't need that much and most games play just fine on three or four. Uh, some people like to keep it set to auto, which I've heard there are auto improvements, but for this game, eight seems to be the way to go from what I've tested. So um, you're probably set to one of these others, just set it to eight. Now when you do that, it's going to tell you that you need to reboot your ally and just go ahead and do that and then let it log back into Windows. Uh, so once you've got that setting done, uh, we're gonna go back and you're gonna go to your game library and you're gonna wanna just click on Remnant 2 and launch it, but I would advise you not to do that. First thing you're gonna wanna do is go to Steam and just you're gonna wanna launch it from Steam for this one. There we go, another Steam update. So we'll give that a second to relaunch here. And now that we have that up, um, we are going to want to get rid of Army Crate. And let me explain why. Um, anything that takes the focus off the screen on this game seems to cause it to crash. Uh, so even if you're doing what I tell you, you may see crashes. Um, and best bet is just to try and save regularly and uh, try and enjoy the game. But if you have anything on the screen, it could cause you some issues with crashing. So um, we're going to go into Armory Crate here and make sure you hit the X button. It's going to say, you sure you want to close? Say OK. You definitely want that done, uh, gone. So the other thing is, is this little display you bring up over here. It gives you some options for real-time monitor and all that. Stuff is great, but this can cause it to crash as well. So what you want to do is make sure that you have your operating mode selected beforehand. And keep in mind that when you unplug and plug, uh, your operating mode might change. So mine's staying there, um, that, but you can kind of switch between them however you need. And so um, for this video, I'm going to show you performance. And then I'm going to show you um, turbo, which is a 30 watt turbo. Performance is decent once you make these changes, um, but if you want to get the best performance, you really need to run on 25 or 30 watt turbo. Um, I actually have a 30 watt um, manual profile that's just 30 watt all across with some high fan curves to keep it cool. Uh, so that's an option too. Uh, but you definitely are not going to play this any less than 10 watt. And I've seen a lot of people reporting that 15 watt performance was increased with this latest BIOS update. So if you're not on 323, you might want to go grab it. Um, I've got a video about that out as well. So we're going to play with 15 watt performance mode. And then we're going to go ahead and open up Remnant. Now I've got um, uh, Afterburner running in the background. So it's going to show me FPS and everything. But I'm telling you most of these modes I've played on you're lucky to even get 30 FPS. So this current setup seems to be the best option. I even tried it with six gig, which is kind of a new hidden feature you can get to, um, but it really didn't work with that as well. So most of my time has just been tweaking this game and not playing it, unfortunately. So um, if, if you crash at the beginning, you need to just keep trying to restart it. And as long as you get it to eight gig, you should have a chance to be able to, uh, uh, to fix it. Uh, so when you get to that screen I just started on, you have an option to get to settings there too. So you might want to do that as well. So in here, let's see, we will go ahead and reset. And you see that right now we're running 43 FPS. This is in town. This is probably the worst spot that I've seen. And uh, at these settings, it seems to play very well. I like to use this area right here just to kind of switch between visual modes. And this mode right here has the best visuals um, as well as the best performance. And keep in mind that, uh, and you're going to see dips like that from now on, but keep in mind that we're in performance, we're in 15 watt mode. Uh, so we can definitely get better if we push this up to turbo. So let's go ahead and go into the settings and I'll go through those. Now I will tell you, this is a bit of a pain um, uh, maneuvering around. You sometimes have to switch to desktop mode, which 
could be an issue because it could cause the game to crash because you're not supposed to use this, like, like I said. But um, it's, you can either use your finger or if you switch to desktop mode, you can use the mouse. Sometimes some of these settings don't change correctly. Uh, like when I just tried to do it without the mouse, it just kept at 1080 and it wouldn't let me change the resolution. Now, I'll tell you, I only run 1080p for games on this device, but there is no way this would run decently at 1080. So uh, for now, the best option is going to be 720 unless they put out an update to this. So we've got 720, 1280 by 720. Make sure that you're full screen and not a windowed full screen. You're going to make sure that your motion blur and V-Sync are both off. Frame rate, you can lock that down to a lower level if you want. I just run unlocked it. I mean, it, 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 if you're pushing really high frame rates, it might hit the battery a little bit harder. Um, but that's okay. Um, well, it's okay for me because I usually play plugged in. But uh, if you want to save battery life, you could lock it, say, to 45. So the upscaler, this is where things are a little bit different. And I have actually seen one other person uh, state this same thing on Reddit. You, you can normally use AMD RSR, and I'll show you kind of what a pain this is to to use here. See, I can't really see a mouse, and you see how hard that is to kind of move around. So you can use your finger and switch it to, to AMD RSR. Okay, there we go. AMD, or sorry, not RSR, FSR. I can only assume this is AMD FSR 1.0. Version 2... Uh, the games look a lot better and they perform fairly well. With version one, the games were faster, but they looked absolutely horrible. And so this game looks just disgusting <laughs> on AMD FSR. So the graphics look way better if you put uh, XESS on. So that's just the Intel technology for upscaling. Um, and it is the one I recommend for now. Now, it's possible they put out an update, and if so, maybe RSR gets better, or maybe they add RSR, uh, um, FSR, sorry, RSR is another technology. Maybe they add FSR 2.0, and that improves it. But for now, this is my official recommendation. And just because the game has so much, um, uh, uh, you know, hits the graphics so hard on here, I've got everything set to low. But with this Intel XESS, the graphics actually look pretty good. Now you can tweak it and bring it up to medium level if you want, you're just going to see a performance hit. And I'm trying to get the best performance and uh, graphics at the same time. So all of these you can just have set to low, but if you really want to tweak some you can, it won't kill you too much. But uh, this has been the best that I've seen so far. So running around here in 15 watt mode, you see, let me reset that, my 1% lows are around 31 right now. Yeah, so they'll drop some, but you can see this gameplay is pretty smooth, um, and it took me a lot of testing to get here, so this is your best option. And, and if you see stutters, make sure that you are playing on 8 gigs of VRAM, as I said in the beginning of the video, because otherwise you're still going to have issues even with these settings. Okay, so now we're going to try and go to um, uh, Turbo. Now, keep in mind that this could crash the game, so... You don't want to change this during the game, but I'm going to try it for this. It doesn't always crash, but sometimes it does. So I'm switching to turbo operating mode. And we might be okay, or we might crash here in a minute, so we'll kind of see how this goes. So you can see now, you know, I'm running uh, into the 50s, and the uh, game actually looks pretty good. There's not a lot of jagged edges. If you want to try AMD FSR and turn it on, you'll find that the game looks very, very bad. Um, but yeah, right now this looks pretty good. And this is the area, like I said, I was judging just so you can kind of see the roof there and the wall and everything still looks pretty decent. So, um, you know, this is probably the way to play and this is the only way to really enjoy the game and it not be, uh, you know, jumping all around in a big mess. So hopefully this helps you with uh, getting your game working, first of all, and uh, and also getting an enjoyable experience out of it. So it does look like it plays in 15 or 25 or 30 watt. Um, 15 actually gives pretty decent performance, but with 30 watt, you can see we have much better 1% lows. Uh, so you won't see as much uh, drop in the frame rate. Uh, so anyway, hopefully, um, well, actually, I'll show you one more thing, just because some people question this sometimes. Um, but I have a 30 watt manual mode. So that makes it run with no turbo boost like, uh, you know, typically it'll run a little bit higher wattage. But you can see here at the top left it's showing I'm at 2930 watts. 
and I'm getting around 50 FPS when it's showing an average of 48 now um, with 36 for my 1% low. So this to me looks very good and is very playable. Um, of course, you can probably hear it kind of spin up. The fans are a little bit higher on this profile because it's a manual one I have. Uh, but it's just 30s across the board with a high fan curve. So hopefully that's good for everyone. I uh, appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed, I appreciate a like and subscribe. And uh, have a great one, everyone. Thanks.